Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mobby Streams. Today we're going to be starting Rogue Legacy. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I, I started this game a while ago for the YouTube, but I never finished it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just beat it for the stream. Uh, yes, yes, so we're going to be starting a new Legacy right here. Click, 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 and if anyone stops by, it's going to happen. So my duties are to my family. I always wanted to beat this game, but uh, it just, I don't know. It, it's a little bit elongated. Uh, it's a it, it's kind of an elongated series for YouTube, so it, it's perfect here. It's really, really perfect here for uh, Twitch. So if anyone in the Twitch chat is watching, um, would you let me know? Because I like to do this every single time I start a new series. Um, how is the audio? Like compared to me slashing away at things, compared to my voice, is it too loud? Is it too low for you guys anyway? Boom, boom, boom. So everything looks in, in, in some sort of grainy form. It's because uh, it's like a, it's a, it's a callback to like old school stuff. Uh, film grain. It's pretty much a, uh, what I want to call this. It's a, it's a memory. So it's a, it's a small tutorial. We'll be going through this. I think you can skip it, but we'll go ahead and go through it anyway. Uh, this game is, a, like, it's really, really, really good. Uh, it's, a, it's called Rogue Legacy, so, you know, Rogue Likes are really up there now. It's a different kind of Rogue Like. No, 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 I think this is like what I like to call the second generation of Rogue Likes. Um, there are those that start off with, um, you know, tabletop things and, uh, like, overview. It's like rolling the dice. And then it turned into some kind of, uh, you know, Rogue Like like this, where it's side scrollish. So this is the whole thing of the game. You die. It's a new generation. We start with level zero. Our goal is to defeat four bosses and be defeat the final boss. I've never defeated the final boss. I've never even seen it. So just like every other mobby stream, we'll be playing in like 45 minute increments and then jumping on here and seeing what the heck's going on. So uh, I don't think I'll be reading these. It's just journal entry it's saying like, oh, an assassin, blah, 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 blah. And then it also goes on to say stuff like, uh, uh, this castle's weird and all stuff like that. So I can look at the, uh, can look at our map every single, every single playthrough, it's different. So that's cool. So this is the castle and there's two other, three other different sections. We got the tower, which is the blue one, green, which is the east, and then, uh, south is dungeon over there. So, oh my god. Well, that's a really nice uh, enemy to start with, huh? This is a champion, Shawlock, level 13, which is fine. So, expect for me to die a, you know, quite a bit. Um, not so much in these early stages, because I'm kind of used to this game already. Like, uh, used to all the functions and stuff, but, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, if you never watch this on my YouTube, you're in for a treat if you like the world legs. These are very, ow, very interesting um, gameplay. Like, the gameplay is simple, right? But, um, the features and all of the different, um, you just... Weird. The first time I played it, I was in love with like everything you can do in this game, but uh, it, it does have its limitations. But you guys will see pretty soon. Like I'll be I'll be talking about uh, all of it. Why is there no music? I think uh, there should be music. There we go. I think I turned it down because I was like live streaming the other day, uh, like a long time ago. With this and uh, I was using copyright music, so I wasn't able to record it. And stuff like that. There we go. That's the music. That's the music I need. Do 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 do. So like I said, every single time you play, it's so different. Oh my God, we are gonna die. How do we got one hit left? All right. I kind of don't want my first life to be this pitiful. Let's see what's going on. Screw you, buddy. Okay. And so I want to collect as much gold as I can. Because uh, even though you do die and you have to start with a new character, you'll, your level stays the same. As well as your equipment. And your money also um, gets like sorted with you. But the thing about um, the money is, you have to, the best thing to do with money is spend it. And spend it before you go into the castle. Because there's some sort of rule saying that, uh, hey, you can't go in unless you get rid of 90% of the money you're carrying. So you have to do that. So there you go. So you also find lots of permanent upgrades in the, oh my god. Really, this is the first boss already. Usually, you're gonna fail like super hard, but um, hey, you know, oh, we got a we got a blueprint for Knight's Helm. We gotta spend a lot of money to get that. So we will be fighting the boss. That's the that's the end goal: finding the bosses and defeating like the, oh, okay, opening the last door, figuring out the uh, discovering the secrets of this, this place. Got some more monies, no problem. 
This game's a. Uh, I don't know how old it is. You know, like a year and a half, probably? It's like 15 bucks on Steam. Too bad it's not multiplayer, that'd be amazing. So, I guess we'll. Well, I guess we'll end this first life by dying. So, this is an eye boss. Not too difficult, but uh, it's still kind of crazy. I mean, like. I like to think of it as, like, Dark Souls difficulty. Like, no matter what, like, it has the pattern where you can win. Like, like no matter what, you can do this. It just takes a long time. Um, actually, a long time, but I don't know. I mean, look at it. He's, he's almost dead already. We might actually do this on our first life. Because I'm just so used to killing the first boss. Uh, after you kill him, though, in one playthrough, it's gone. But uh, he does give you permanent upgrades, which is nice. If we beat this on our first try, man, that's pretty awesome. We're level zero right now. It's halfway dead. We're doing really well. I can't believe it. It's not butter. Oh my god, we're doing this, aren't we? No. Oh god, hold on. Focus, serious time. Holy crap, we're doing this. No way. Ah, 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 <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Well then. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good. That's not good. Get wrecked, son. Okay. Not bad at all. Oh my god, we're gonna win! Heppa! Okay, don't rush it. This is the end. This is the end game. This is the end. I can do this. Let's not mess this up because I got super impatient. Oh my god, level zero! We are killing this boss. Level zero! We killed the first boss! Dang! That's what I'm talking about. Holy crap! That should be an achievement or something. Holy crap, do I get do I get a steam achievement for that? Nah. So we got permanent upgrades. MP increase, increase, and HP increase. That's great. Can you believe that? That's <laughs> well, obviously the game's not that difficult. You see that first boss, not too bad. But uh, the other one's later on. What's up? Grumple, thank you so much, man. Woo, we did it! So, you might, you might be thinking now, what's your goal? Well, the goal now is to fight the other bosses. Yeah, pray for assistance. <gasps> I got a new item. Helios's Blessing. I don't know what that item does. I think if I scroll over it, it might tell me. Uh, let's see. Helios's Blessing. No, I can't really see. Helios's Blessing. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Not much. Okay, let's go. So. Oh gosh, we're gonna die here. Ah, we're dead! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, if it's the first oh god, if it's the first time seeing this game, I'll go ahead and show you get what the heck happens. Every time you die, you start with a new heir. He has random stats, and he has a different class. We got the knight, the mage, and the knave. Sometimes it can be two mages, two knights, and it's just crazy. So it says here we got okay. There's sort of like different parts of it. We got the class, its traits, and its spell. They're all switched up every single time. The knights are, of course, you know, a little more tankier than mages, and the mages usually have mage specific spells. Here we have a knave here, low stats but good crits. He has uh, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, if you know what that is. And then we got another mage with also irritable bowel syndromes, uh, and a knight. You are insane. He has the skill of dementia, which I'm not too keen on using that. So I guess we're gonna go for Sir Jacoby. Let's pick him. So this is the town place. We unlock the smithy. Boom, that adds that. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritable virtuous violent villain vaporizer. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of these, huh? And gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array, array of assorted armaments for your armory. So like I said, using your money, you have to use it all like, you know, as much as you can, so you can go ahead and get permanent upgrades to help you further your, uh, you know, your game along. It took, the first time I played this, took me a very long time to get, to beat that first boss. But it was really easy here. <laughs> Lady Teresa has a giant, glorious white beard. I know, right? Uh, I didn't read that part. So, you can see I only have two choices now, but once we click on it, it will lock more stuff. So this is 10 HP up, that's forever, by the way. Then we keep going. This, so this upgrades all of our knights into a paladin, a ferocious forefront fighter, and it has a specific knight ability, which is a, a block button. So we're going to just unlock it. So the knights are upgraded. Promote your knights into paladins through vigorous training. Paladins have learned how to block blows from any direction. So I'm not sure if it actually blocks it from the back if you do uh, the Y. I'll try that. I'll definitely check it out. 
So I think before we upgrade like on one thing, because this one was like 120 to upgrade and then more and more and more, I kind of want to unlock all the classes and stuff. So we'll be putting one in at least all of these. So one in the mana, which doesn't seem to unlock any more stuff, but at least we have it now. So um, equip up. Upgrading your carry capacity will allow you to wear better and heavier armor. So once you unlock new armors with money, it's going to cost weight. So let's go here to the left. Architect. Unlock the architect and gain the powers to lock down the castle. Now this is a pretty interesting feature. I never usually use the architect. We'll go ahead and read it here. The architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of a castle, lock it down. Just to make sure you can afford its fee. So this particular NPC, how it works is like I said, every single time you play, the castle is different. But if you like the layout of it, like oh, it's easy to access the boss here, easy um, you know to memorize the layout. Lock it down, so it costs a little bit of money though. Never used it. And then we have here attack up. A proper gym will uh, allow you to really strengthen your arms and butt muscles. Boom, shrinked up. Upgrade Barbarian. So this adds just a new class. Become the Barbarian King. Boom! Convert your barbarians into barbarian kings. Learn the shouts. Learn the secret shouts of the bears and explode things until they explode. And this is definitely, um, obviously, a nice homage to um, Skyrim. Foss Rodan instead of Fus, you know. We're going to be talking for quite a bit tonight, so I might as well get my fluids in now. Alright, so what is this one? Unlock the Shinobi. Unlock the Shinobi, the fleetest of fighters. We're unlocking a lot of stuff on our first playthrough. We, we, we got a good amount of money from the boss. So, the Shinobi, a super fast, super deadly warrior who wears a super headband. They can't take a lot of hits, but they can dish out the pain. Believe it! Another throwback to Naruto, the English dub. Critical chance up. <laughs> it grew a little tree. Teaching yourself about the weaknesses of enemies allows you to strike with deadly efficiency, increases your percentage chance of crits. And then this increases the damage of crits, which grows another glorious tree. I don't have enough for this one. Uh, I do have enough for this one. Unlock the Enchantress and gain access to her magical runes and powers. Alright, so that doesn't work. The Enchantress can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Find runes to increase her repertoire of body modifying talents. Her crystal ball is just for show. Ah, good to know. So, magic damage up. Uh, so this increases our intelligence, that's fine. So that didn't unlock anything else. Now we need at least 400 to unlock this one. 600 for the next one. Let's go ahead and get out of here. So this is our hub here. Oh my god, we got OBS. So this is our spell. Everyone starts out with a different spell. Every once in a while we get like a really good one. Alright, so what are we? We're the knave, right? No, we're the barbarians? We're the knights? Uh oh. So this is the, uh, the black, so maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the land, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I could only make cutlery and stuff. <laughs> Please bring back blueprints, any blueprints you find, and uh, I can build the most amazing equipment ever! At a price, of course. So, you, you know, you have to go find them inside the dungeon, and then you gotta pay for it. It's two, 200 to unlock, it says the weight there and how much stuff it gives you. This one gives you magic. So we're not gonna have enough money for any of this because we spent it all unlocking the other stuff. And then we have this chick. Hello, hero. Can I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. <laughs> Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and I'll sell it back to you at a profit. So we have some unlocked already. Um, we have the Vault Rune, grants you a multiple jump, 175 to unlock, definitely needed, this is a dash, um, 175, so yeah, we're definitely gonna get the runes, all that stuff later, I don't need to lock the stuff down, let's begin, it's weird how, uh, it's like snowy, is that like an update or something? Oh, so this is a guy, one must pay the toll, so we have to give him all of our money to enter the castle. And let's go. So this is the whole game. I explained a lot of it. It's it's all just building, 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 and destroying the enemies. So, you know, because this is just a regular Barbie Streams episode, where I'm just trying to beat as many games as I can, you know, I, want, I really wonder how many games I can beat this year. Uh, we've got like 360 days, right? 
360 days? How many days are in a year? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I kind of want to have more games than that. It's going to be really difficult though, because I have to have like games set up in advance. I also have to know which games I want, and we have to rush through them. But, you know, rush through them at a f at a reasonable pace, not like totally destroying, like, not, like disregarding the, the artsy and uh, appreciation of the game itself. But, uh, you know, we want to be as many games as we can, going from modern games to, oh god, modern games to retro games. So, what do I count for modern games? Modern games are, I think, anything that's been in the last 10 to 10 years, something like that. And then retro would most likely be things on, like, you know, older than that, and that are probably on a old console, like the Super Nintendo. So I have a couple, I have a really good, um, really good idea of retro games that I want to play. It's going to be games, it's, it's going to be a mix between games I've played before, uh, to revisit them, and beat them, and then there are going to be some where I've never played before. Like, there was that one game, Terra Enigma. Um, it's like a, it's a Sony RPG in the late life of the Super Nintendo that I really want to try. So we'll be doing a mix of those. It's gonna be great. But we're we'll really, really excited to get all this. So yeah, we're gonna go back and forth. The only thing that's like, like I said, I have a good idea of the retro games. But for the newer games, I'm not too sure. Right now, I guess I'll just go through my Steam library and we'll beat a couple of those. But I'm also really curious um, and want suggestions from either people on YouTube and Twitch. So yeah, but so far, you know, I want to just play games, just random games we have here. God, there's a giant ass sword here. Oh, there's a secret right here, I forgot. Yeah, okay, so there's a hidden chest right here. We got a secret rune here, Vampire Rune. Now we can find multiple, like, like, we can use multiple runes for, um, that have the same effect. So, if I use a vampire rune for my helm, and a vampire rune for my sword, all, you know, its effect will be pretty much doubled. Or maybe doubled. Oh, the money! The same thing, we can get, like, uh, like, if you want, we can get, like, multiple jumps, too, so... You know, no, you're not just limited to a double. Maybe you can get, like, a triple, even quadruple. If you unlock them all, you decide to equip it. The thing is, while you have that really nice power, you also uh, limit your other your other abilities. Oh crap! Uh, yep. Oh my Jesus! Ha! Ah! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Worth it, maybe? Money for the win. Ah shit! Oh my God! I got one hit left on this life. Let's not die. We did so well last episode or last life. Let's be careful. Oh my! Well, we died. We died. We unlocked some stuff. It's okay. Well, not necessarily unlock stuff, but rather, uh, got money to unlock more stuff. So, we got a mage, a paladin, and a paladin. I don't want this mage. We don't have any good mage stuff yet. So, um, uh, he has Alzheimer's and dyslexia. He has trouble reading things. You can see the words in a little jumble there. And the other one is trouble remembering where you are. It messes with the, uh, the map, so I don't want that. We'll go ahead and grab, uh, this Lady Antoinette's. Oh yeah, so Lady Paladin with a uh, IBS and a Guardian Shield ability. But the the spell is pretty nice, the Chakra. We're gonna take this one. And uh, we won't upgrade anything here. We'll go exit the manor. And we'll get a new. Oh god, thinking the fart. Yeah, the Interval Battle Syndrome. Alright, we'll go ahead and get the rune. Oh yeah, we unlocked the Vampire Rune. Kill it and meets to gain health. We'll go ahead and get the uh, Jump ability, Double Jump. And we'll grab the Sprints ability. Oh, I forgot. There we go. Yep, there we go. So, right trigger or left trigger will make it so you can jump like this. Pretty nice. And the double jump. So, we are a little bit more um, athletic now. So, let's go. So, you can see my level increase. I'm now level 13. Your level doesn't necessarily increase my killing things. It increases by upgrading from the manor. Okay, here we go. Anything up here? Oh, there's a chest. Money! Alright, these are usually uh, yield money too, so I'm going to be breaking these. Actually, ah, really got hit already. It's easier just to do this. Mr. Rammy Rod, dude, what's up? Oh my god, oh my god. Alright, we're good, we good. So this game is also, if you're curious, uh, it's also on like, um, I think it's on the PlayStation Store and Xbox. I think it started here, though, uh, I'm not sure if it was a Kickstarter, but I'm pretty sure it started on the PC. Um... 
while ago. I think I was watching for it too. So if we go find the boss room, oh wow, we got a champion here. The champion gladiator. <laughs> it's not. That's funny. It's, it's supposed to be a gladiator, but he's gray. He's a gladiator. That's funny. All right. Oh my God, we got another champion. All right, let's go. So champions give you a little bit more money than usual, and uh, sometimes there are rooms with like uh, two champions, and they drop like a chest, which is nice. They give you uh, permanent upgrades. You might get lucky. Wow. Oh my God. So I'm not sure if you can increase your defense, but I know for sure, like, the best thing to do is get HP early on. But I'm not into that right now. So there's our map here. You can see that there's a chest in this room I'm in. Let's be very careful. It's like a very good first life though, but uh, these upcoming ones, we gotta try a little bit harder. Cause not only do I wanna grind in these early areas, oh gosh, but uh, <laughs> the Aeropatool Valve Syndrome. Scanning to me. Ah, yeah. Dude, 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 dude. So yeah, we have a shock room here. It's pretty nice. It goes through walls. Like sometimes they're like small puzzles where it's like, oh, I kill all the enemies. Hey, what's up, uh, Emanlo? Hello, mateys. Oh my god. Matos. What's up, Ematos? Emateys. Oh my gosh. Um, yep, there's a chest at the end of this room. But yeah, if there's like a specific uh, requirement for the room, it'll tell us. Like sometimes it'll be like, don't take any damage, and then it'll be a room full of spikes. And if you do take damage, the uh, chest will be forever locked in that playthrough. So you're gonna have to uh, be very careful. And also depends on what skill you have. Like sometimes you just need a double jump or a sprint, otherwise uh, you're just not gonna not gonna have a good time. Oh, I I just realized one game that I do definitely do want to play. Um, I have to plug in my 360 though for it. It's been a long time since I played that. But uh, I have Sp uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I bought it and I never finished it. I've only played maybe like 25% of the game. We definitely have to go back to that. Blood Cape, that's another vamp. It's a vampiric equipment. I think that also gives you um, some stuff to steal. Uh, life. But yeah, oh, I gotta play that. I freaking love the movie. Uh, I never read the comics. But uh, you know. You know, it's, it's it was a oh gosh, it was a sleeper hit I think. Dang it, don't die! Oh boy, he left. But I am still no no no. I know busy. I know busy. I'm a busy. Oh my ah oh, god! All right, that's the end of that life. Yeah, I got uh, got killed by the scout. Uh. Great, that happened. All right, well, how much money we got? Oh, let's choose. Knave, barbarian, queen, and paladin. There you go. Barbarian queen sounds great. The bald and the beautiful that's her trace. All right, that's cool. Uh, 1300, let's unlock the, up let's upgrade the mage. Boom. And transform your measly mages into arc mages. Master all of the arcane arts and change whatever spells you have on the fly. Alright, unlock minor. Let's grab this one too. Minor class has been unlocked. Boom. Trade more in the art of making money than killing enemies. Miners are best used for scurrying the castle for treasure chests and avoiding confrontation. All right, we got 350 left. Let's get a new uh, weapon here. So this is just a regular weapon. I have zero weight on, so I might as well get this. This is plus seven damage, and we have a measly 100 gold left, which is not enough for anything. So once again, we're going in. This game is a roguelike. It's all about trial and error. Um, I mean, the, the selling point is definitely like, you know, if you like these types of games, then hey, uh, you know, they made it really fast, and accessible for you, with their pretty cool upgrades. Uh, the reason I'm playing this for Mobby uh, streams is I want to beat this game. This is definitely a beatable game, even though it's a roguelike. I just want to beat this last boss. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, I was able to beat Transistor and Donkey Kong Country in less than three hours. So, um, I think this one will, will be that too. I mean, I'll try my hardest to find games that'll be maybe less than 10 Mobby stream episodes. Remember, those are going to be around 45 minute episodes. Uh, I think this will be pretty good. Mark of the Ninja. Oh my god, Mark of the Ninja. I think I have that on Steam, but I haven't played that one either. Yes. Oh, though. Okay, that game is from the makers of Don't Starve as well. Mark of the Ninja sounds like a really good game. Okay, um, one thing I'm going to be doing later um, is I need to. You know, I definitely want suggestions of games to play. Um, you know, new or old games. So I need to set up something where you guys can click on it 
and you can add in um, your suggestions of games, and I'll add it to the list, and we'll just play from there. Well, that's good. Greetings, adventurer. I'm here to give you the chance of a lifetime. For the measly sum of 25% of your current gold, I will give you a chance to open one of three chests. One chest will triple what you paid, but the other two are empty. Yeah, I don't have that much money. What's in the box? Nothing! You stupid! So stupid! Oh, what did you? It's okay, I don't have enough money. So this thing right here, it's a throwback to, um, throwback to one of their games, usually. Oh, hmm, that. Well, that one wasn't their game in particular, but it helped them out. Diablo 2! Cap Cap! Oh my god, Diablo 2. I know that game is definitely finishable, like, what would I- Okay, there's like normal, like different- There's different difficulty settings, so, let, okay, let's just- say that I do play it. What would be the cutoff? It's after I finish uh, at least normal mode and kill Diablo, right? At least that's what I would cut it off so we can make room for more games. Diablo 2. I actually have Diablo 3. You know what? I might even... That might be just fun. You know, I want to play tons of different games. So I might plug in the old Diablo 3 because I, I never finished it because I got hacked. I got hacked so I was like, fuck, fuck this Blizzard. I'm not playing your game anymore. But uh, I might go back to it. Cause I fucking paid full price for that game. I should go play Diablo 3 and finish it. So, oh, there's a huge list of games that, um... Okay, you know what? Even though we are in stream, I need to get these these games in now so we can talk about it. Alright, so I'm going to be opening up a uh, new document here. Give me a second. Oh my gosh. Alright, new documents. Alright, let's see. Um, game suggestions. So this, yeah, this is a mommy stream episode, but it's still a chill stream. So um, obviously game suggestions. We got a uh, Diablo three. I'm not gonna do Diablo two. I'll do Diablo three. I'll do Mark of the Ninja. Okay, so we have um, retro games because every time we play, we're gonna be switching between retro games and uh, modern games. So I bes okay. So Diablo three and Mark of the Ninja are modern. So, do you guys have any other suggestions? I would love to add it to the list. Like, anything. For instance, if, if you don't know to suggest, I played and defeated Donkey Kong Country 1 just yesterday. And that was a really, really fun uh, playthrough. Nightmare Hardcore Necro! Oof. Monday. I don't know. So, here's the thing. We can't fight the boss again. I don't know why. I'm not sure if there's a new game plus. I'm assuming there might be. But, uh, you can't fight the boss again. It would be amazing if we can. I would love to go grind that guy all day for like permanent upgrades. That'd just be amazing. So the way this thing works is you uh, okay. So the next step up after you beat the eyeball would be to go to um what's that place called uh, the forest. Then after the forest, I, I don't remember, but it's either north or south. And then you fight the boss, and that's it. That is uh, it's a rogue legacy for you. I do have a game set up after this though. If I end up beating this game quick, um, it's gonna be a goodie. Uh, it was recommended the other day. Super Castlevania for retro. Yes, yes, Super Castlevania. Thank you so much. That is great. Super Castlevania is a good pickup. Super Castlevania for for retro. Thank you so much. Oh, that's really good. Super Castlevania. I've never played it. Well, I know I've played it, but I've never beaten it. There you go. So that's gonna be fun. That is exactly the kind of picks I'm looking for. Thank you so much. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna have so many uh, games to play. This is gonna be great. So if you are new to the stream or if you're wondering um, what the heck's going on, if you scroll down, I started this new thing in January, uh, two days ago actually, where we're just gonna beat games left and right, modern to retro, modern to retro. Like even games like, I don't know, Luigi's Mansion. Oh, that's actually uh, funny. What would you guys classify Luigi's Ma Mansion at? Like, it's it's borderline retro. But it's also not too modern. I'm not sure what the cutoff should be. Okay, we need a year date if you guys can help me out. So, okay, it's 2015. What would be the year date for retro? Um, like 20 years ago? 20 years ago, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna okay, like okay. I'm gonna have to look up uh, like console dates. Um, like, what's the last retro console that you know, in my opinion, that is that has been there? It's probably gonna be the PlayStation One. I think PlayStation Two can can be considered modern. What do you guys think? Um. All right. 
Oh my god, this room is stupid. Oh, I already failed this objective. Take no damage. 15 years. 15 years. Uh, 15 years. I'm not too certain. Like, I gotta do a little more research before I can uh, easily say which retro or not. But 15 years, 15, 20 years, it sounds okay. Like I said, I gotta do a little more research of um, what is considered retro. Oh god. What's up, Sethlick? Castle Hampson? That's funny. So yeah, our goal is to defeat the forest. That's a great. Well, you said 10 years. 10 years? I, uh, 2005? I think that's still modern. Alright, it's gonna be less than that. So yeah, 15 or 20 years will be um, after that. It might be retro. I think it's all, like I said, it's probably gonna depend on uh, uh, the consoles, I guess. So we're level 15. I mean, like I said, you can, you can beat this. You can beat all the bosses, no problem. So I get to it. And know the pattern. We would have killed the first boss easy. As long as I can keep getting to the boss and practicing, that's no problem. So I think that, you know, if you want to speed this game up, that's going to be our goal. Get to the boss, die to it about 100 times so we can learn its pattern. And then we'll, uh, we'll defeat it. So the thing is, I have two games for tonight. I really hope I don't beat them all in less than like a couple hours. Like, uh, I'll be streaming for at least eight hours. M minimum. Oh no, maximum. Minimum, maximum. I just hope we don't finish all our games beforehand. I only have this game and one more retro game that I have set up already. God dang it, we died. And then I might have to just swing it if we um, kill, if we defeat those games. Alright, so how much money do I have there? We got a... No, oh, let's go. We got a Knave, Paladin, and another Knave. It's so dark. Trouble reading things. Uh, we'll go with the, this one. We'll go with the... The knave. All right, we have twelve hundred. Let's go ahead and unlock another class. No, no, no. I think we should go ahead and just equip some more stuff. So sword's good. We get one of these things. We got mana up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll grab the uh, night helm, I guess. I mean, overall, like later on, I guess we'll just be unlocking things with the money we have. But for now, let's get the best of the best. Oh, there's armor. There's armor. This is magic attack up. And we don't have a cape. Oh, we do have a cape. 500 to unlock. Ooh, that sucks. So, getting this one gives us plus one vampirism, but it gives us negative 30 more health. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, not much. Alright, we have 488. Let's go back to the batter. Upgrade whatever we can. Let's see. This is a 600, 1900, 450. Ungrade the name to assassin. Train your knaves to become full-fledged assassins. Use the power of the shadows to secretly slip past enemy ranks. Now, oh, there we go. Boom, upgraded. So yeah, we are able to become invisible and walk through, but um, y you can barely see it, but it it's lowering our mana, but because... Doctor... No, 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 no. I'm not playing Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. And Mr. Hyde. Dr. Gentile. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll. Mr. Hyde, F that. I've seen enough from uh, AVGN to know that. Screw that. Oof. I, I, would, I would never finish that game. That's a crown. Let's go. So, our goal? Get to the freaking forest boss, man. We're doing it. I mean, yeah, sure, it's nice to grind on these early stages, like I said. But, uh, it, you know, they don't give you as much money as the later stages. Later, you know, castle areas. So, we'll be focusing more towards those. But I will, be, of course, be going through these as the rooms go by. Oh god. So yeah, more game suggestions if you do want to see your favorite game. Blood Chest Plate. Uh, it's another vampiric one. That lowers my HP, overall HP, if I have an equip. I have to remember to also, like, I use my double jump, like, uh, natively because, you know, it's on a lot of platforms. I gotta use my slide a bit more, too. Should definitely be using that. Sliding is so cool. Cause you can slide in the air, and you can slide in the air and then double jump. It's pretty, yeah, it's, it's pretty versatile. Your movements. It's just a matter of, um, you know, can you get used to it? And all that stuff. So as long as we run straight to the right, we're gonna be getting to the forest. Right. Probably one more room or two. Oh, snap, sickles. Whoa. Okay. This is carnival. <laughs> Mr. Bloonsy's over here. Alright, what's up, boy? 
Hi Trey, let's see how. G oh yeah, our guy has uh, dyslexia. He's not. He's not really reading, rather than listening. You only get one shot, but it's free at charge. If you succeed, I'll give you a nice reward. You get five axes to destroy as many targets as possible. Leave less than ten, and I'll give you a special prize. Care to give it a try? Hell yeah. Okay, five axes. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Dang it, I think we failed. Target destroyed, targets remaining. Ah, oh, we got some gold at it. If only we destroyed three more, we would have gotten an awesome prize. Anyway, thanks a lot, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Clowny. Ouch. Okay. Now, considering the rate that we're going to be playing these games at, it's going to be so much like footage for the YouTube. So I think I'll be putting up uh, at least two Mobby Stream episodes along with my, uh, with my regular YouTube. So... Yeah, I think we'll be sticking with the six videos a day, probably still. All right, a minimum five, like a uh, two mommy streams and then two regular YouTube videos. That's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, I forgot I have stealth ability, and that really um, takes away a lot of mana. Oh, snapsicles! All right, be careful. Come at me. What are we? We're an assassin, right? We have a higher chance to do crits. Must get to the forest. Alright. It's over here. Boss? Nope. Alright. So our stats are really low. Oh god, we just... Oh, we almost died. How do you make that face? The man low? What's the man low? Oh, he... I didn't know what he said. Oh, oh. What? You don't know Kappa? You don't know Kappa? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see what we got here. I want to get to the forest, but it looks like we're probably gonna die. All right, this is a tough room to up. I got one more hit, and then we're dead here. All right, got some gold out of that. Be careful. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is scary. This is really scary. Ah! Forest? Oh my god, we haven't even got to the forest yet. Here we are. Okay. No, no, it's 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 gray face. It, it's gray face, no space. Right, let's be careful. All right. So each uh, new area brings a slew of new enemy types. Oh, dude, this room sucks. Oh god, we barely got to the forest and got killed. But you know, each playthrough we get a little bit stronger. You know, assuming you pick up enough money to get anything at all. So we got <laughs> Kipo, Barbarian King, Barbarian King. Uh, you are a fan of the man. Gay. Alright, I'll pick you. So we got 900 bucks. Uh, what can we purchase here? I don't care about that. Potion up. Potion is much more potent. Uh, what's this one down here? Gold gain up. So, um, we get more bang for your buck, man. So 10% more gold per thing we get. So if we get 100 gold, we get 110. It's really good. Don't have enough money for it. We'll probably just unlock a uh, potion up. And it leaves us with 50 more cents. We can't do anything else. Alright, let's go. So we got Chakram. Oh, I use Fusser, dog. Oh my god, I cannot see my health. That's the trait of this character. I cannot see it. Oh, so good of a down thrust. No, I am. Poof! Down thrust. So I've been told, you know? So I've been told. Alright. Okay, so we're level 17. We're getting stronger, stronger in a sense, some sort of sense. Ah, god. See, I didn't know my health, so this is gonna be bad. All right, every single chest though must open them up because they tend to give you a pretty good amount of money. All right, let's see here. So I need a platform that will allow people to vote on games or like add their suggestions. And then I can sort through them and add them to my personal list. So you guys can keep adding it. And then I can add some of this. I don't know what program I can use. I don't want I want you guys to be able to just click a link and add a suggestion. I don't want it have I want it uh, I don't want it so you guys have to message me or anything like that. Because uh, I have to sort through messages, don't want to do that. Oh my god, I don't know how much health I have. This is dumb. So I can't go through there up there. 
Uh, unless I have dwarfism, because you can see there's a slightly dark area on the top of those pillars. I could walk through with dwarfism, can't go in there now. So I think I have like one or two hits left. Oh my gosh, I don't like this room. Oh! Okay, we're here. In the forest. Ah! Okay, I probably have like one hit left. This worked out! I just want to get to the boss at least and try fighting it. I don't remember what kind of boss it is. I think it's a wolf, but... Oh no, I'm probably dead. No? Okay. Champion! I'm dead now. Dude, I have so much health! What the heck's going on? Oh god. Okay. I'm still alive. Uh, Barity. I, I believe it's like one hit left. It has to be one hit left, because I took so much damage already. Yeah, it also depends what class you are. If I was like a mage, of course I'd have less, uh, less than a, uh, oh god. Less than a paladin or something like that. Oh gosh. Look, there's sand in the back. Right, I gotta be a little more careful here. Oh my god, what the hell are you? Alright, buddy. Ah! Oh, there's no way I didn't die yet. Alright, I wanna kill Chakram Power! Shit! Oh, fuck! Alright, that was bad. Yeah. Ugh, I need to grind more. God. Um, Paladin Assassin. Um, he's so skinny, every single hit that we take sends us flying. Well, let's do that. 400 bucks, not a good amount for anything, so I guess we'll increase our HP, and that's it. So, do I have a Steam group? Yes, I do. All you have to do is search uh, in Steam, Mobby vs. Games, and it's free to open, uh, it's free to join. Let's jump right in. And uh, we usually use Steam groups. We use the Steam groups usually for a multiplayer game. So, for instance, if we do a day when we all play uh, Team Fortress or Counter-Strike or something, Y'all can join in free as long as you are, you know, part of the Steam group. I don't want just random people joining. Just people in the Steam group. So our damage hasn't been increased. It's still 25. The only thing that's good about this character is gonna be, uh, you know, oh god! It's gonna be the actual uh, crits. So we gotta work on that. Do, 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 do. Ah! Oh shit! Alright. The damage is a little bit better. Get wrecked! Ethic knows, he's part of it. Poof, poof, poof. Alright, let's go straight for the, the forest area again. Yeah, like, we started off really good, and all of a sudden, like, oh, uh, we can't get anywhere. We can't progress at all. This sucks. Alright. No, 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 no. What's this? Play for assistance. We got a ring. We got Hyperion's ring. I think that's like Sonic. I don't remember what it does. Take no damage to get this chest. That's easy. <laughs> I'm so lucky on this class. All right, I got a new rune here. All right, we are in the balance rune. Mm, I forgot what that does. So yeah, I don't see myself ever getting through this challenge unless I uh, am the knave class, so that's pretty lucky. Oh, the assassin class, sorry. All right, let's go to do this. Dodge. Okay. So, yeah. Just gotta slow down a little bit. Focus. If you want to kill the easy enemies to get some money off it. Like, uh, what's another good modern game? Like, uh, what would you guys say to a scary game? Um, Outlast. I have the DLC. Ouch. No, I, I don't think I do. God dang it. What's up with this? Ah! Oh, Jesus! I'm getting destroyed here! God. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. You can't find it. All you gotta do is look at my profile and go for it. Oh my god! There was no way! Defy death! What the hell just happened? I don't know what the heck happened, but we were able to uh, defy death. I've never seen that before, and then we just die. I've never seen that. I don't know why that happened. New feature? Anyway, how much money we have now? I don't know. Assassin Shinobi Miner. Shinobi deals massive damage you cannot crit. Let's do it. 330. Not much. More HP up. So, we used to do 25, now we do 59. That's really good. Oh my god, it's so fast. The Shinobi is ninja! Yes! Alright, and it's about 45 minutes, so we'll go ahead and end this episode for Mobby Streams. We'll see you guys next time. Alright.